Hey guys, this is George. On this video, we're doing a simple tutorial on how to take a snapshot or a screenshot of your screen, uh, depending on, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter in what situation you are, so you can be running a game and you can take a screenshot, or you can be using any program you have and take a screenshot. So whatever you have on your screen, you can take a screenshot using this method. So um, I'm on Windows 7, I don't know if this works on any other Windows, but uh, I think it will and uh, it's very easy actually so here I'm gonna grab the camera and show you myself so um, here we are in my computer and what you have to do is um, I want to for example open um, I don't know the calculator app or program and I'm gonna show you right here on my keyboard I'm gonna turn the light down and I'm gonna show you right here on my keyboard uh, actually, this is a keyboard uh, with a, a Spanish layout, but the keys are the same. I mean, they do the same. So you can see you have the um, arrow arrow keys right here. You have the, uh, some function keys or whatever they, you want to call them. And right here you have three buttons, which um, one is a control, um, a, a scroll lock. One, uh, I don't know what it says. I think it's pause or something like that. And the other one, which is this one, uh, it's called the print screen uh, key. So um, right there, I don't know if my camera is focusing right. It's actually a crappy camera. I might do a review of it soon. But uh, here I'm going to show you a picture of a normal keyboard in English. And you can see uh, it's called the print screen, um, the print screen key. So what you have to do is press that key. So right now I have this screen right now. I'm going to show you that if I move calculator to whatever part like right there I'm gonna press this key right here I press it once and we're back in my computer it doesn't do anything that you can notice and we're gonna open a program called paint which every Windows computer has it so there it is I'm gonna open it and now what I'm gonna do is uh, hit control paste and now you can see on paint uh, you have a, a, a screenshot of your whole monitor of your whole desktop so for example if I want to show somebody uh, maybe maybe I did some like uh, uh, calculation right here and I want to show it to somebody uh, I can go right here and select uh, the select tool and now I'll select uh, the calculator part I don't know if you can see this very well on the camera and hit crop over there right here and then we just cropped the image and then you can save it however you want it on a PNG format uh, yeah and you also have all the different formats for example um, uh, GIF file, JPEGs, uh, bitmaps um, and other, other files but I'll just save it on PNG it's a very high quality file so we'll save it and I'll show you what it looks like so this is my image of my calculator which I just took and I'm gonna show you that you can also take screenshots of games so I'm gonna open Call of Duty 4 one of my favorite games in my life and I'm gonna resume game so this should load pretty fast there we go so I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit so I can talk while I'm recording and I'll go back to the game so here you can see I'm in the game I can play I mean it's a real game so I want to hit the key again uh, print screen there I pressed it once and you know uh, nothing happens on the screen you can't notice anything so now I'm gonna close this game and I think I'll just minimize it so I'll go back to uh, my desktop I'll look up paint again actually I have it right there and now again control paste control V I mean and there we can see it uh, a screenshot of the game so we can crop for example the weapon and select the crop and there we go uh, I'm gonna select save and save replace and there we have a screenshot of my uh, screen whatever part you want so uh, this is a very nice tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it and use it if you need to do this in any moment it's a very easy way to show someone if you want to 
uh, something in your screen or if you just like want to save a moment uh, that you think you'll need in the future so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial remember to comment rate subscribe follow me on Twitter and that's about it so thank you for watching and goodbye guys